Who needs a stinking autopilot anyway? Who needs an autopilot anyway? A lot of people spend all this money learning how to fly and then got to have a machine or a computer to fly the airplane from four. I mean, I don't care. Of course, I'm in maintenance. Hey, when you drive your car, do you use cruise control? Absolutely not. <laughs> what is cruise control? <laughs> hey, it's Ron for Spark Chasers, and this week we're talking about the Garmin GFC 500 Autopilot. So I dedicated an entire video to the GFC 500, you asked? Simply because that's what our customers want to talk about. Each day, Mark and I spend a tremendous amount of our time on the phone or answering web inquiries about products. And since Garmin released this autopilot last November, we've taken a lot of calls. But when they updated the STC for the Cessna 182 in early January, it's completely dominated our calls. So we thought, what better way to answer some of these questions than just shoot a video? So here we go. Let's talk about the GFC 500. Now we know you've got questions, and one of the questions we get regularly is what airplanes can we put a GFC 500 in? And the simple answer is, it was originally released with the Cessna 172 Foxtrot through Sierra models. In January, they released an STC for the Cessna 182, the Echo through Tango models. And rumor has it right now, the PA28, 180, and 181 is going to be released anytime, and you hear a lot of talk about the Beach A36 Bonanza and the Cessna 210. So I would expect those, if you're looking in 2018, you know you can do the Cessna 172, you know you can do the Cessna 182. Good chance you'll see the, the Piper PA28, the Cherokee, um, and I'm sure they're working on the A36 and the, and the Cessna 210. So another popular question is, I've got a G500 in my Cessna 182, and I want to schedule to get the GFC 500 autopilot. When can we do it? And the answer is not anytime soon. The G500 um, does not have any interface to the G5 electronic flight instruments, so therefore we just can't do it yet. Um, it, the GFC 600. Will, uh, will integrate with the G500, but right now, to do the G GFC500, you need the G5s, and those do not integrate with the G500. So unfortunately, uh, not till we get uh, the integration from Garmin can we do that. So one of the other questions we get quite regularly is, do I have to do dual G5 for electronic flight instruments? And I usually follow that up with, are you trying to get the $10,000 autopilot that people are talking about on the online forums and on the Facebook groups? Um, we'll talk about that here in a second. But the shorter answer is, you don't have to do both uh, the dual G5s. You can get by with a simple G5 attitude indicator if you're willing to deal with the limitations. To, to have a fully coupled ILS approach, um, you're going to need to have uh, the dual G5 solution, you need the G5 HSI. So next, let's address the, the question of, can I get this autopilot for $10,000? I've seen it, it's, that's the lowest number I've seen on, on some of the online forums, and maybe it was a Facebook group, I'm not sure. Um, we read a lot of those and, and just try to keep up with, with what people are saying as well. Um, when you look at this in its most basic form, you have a G5 attitude indicator, you have two, two of the servos, um, you have the controller, you have to pay for the STC, you have to pay for the product equipment, uh, the, the product information. By the time you get that in the miscellaneous, I think you're gonna be well over $12,000 retail. Um, you, and you haven't installed this, this system yet. Keep in mind that you know, the, the way Garmin ships this, it doesn't come with any uh, of the, a, a trim switch. It doesn't come with a disconnect switch. It doesn't come with a, a wiring harness. It doesn't come with fasteners, coil cord to, you know, to, to mount uh, the switches with. There's a lot of miscellaneous 
equipment that, that the dealer is going to provide. Some of you may be used to other autopilots that come in a kit and they come with everything from the coil cords to the uh, 8L clamps to the, the hot wiring harness. That's not what you're doing here. You're buying the servo, the controller, the STC, and putting them together. My guess is you won't get it for $10,000. If you do, let's address that for a second. We already know the equipment's probably more like $12,000 uh, in its most basic form. Um, with some serious limitations in my opinion. Would you really want that $10,000 autopilot? You gotta ask the question, where are they cutting corners to get to 10,000? You know, people say aircraft gain weight over time. As they get older, they get fatter. When you look at what, what we have to do to take out the, the original Cessna autopilot and take out those servos and take out all that cabling, one way to, that you could easily cheat or skimp would be just leave it all in there and and look at the weight that's added to the aircraft um, and it wouldn't be the first time that uh, that we've seen that done in fact there's a 210 in our hangar right now a Cessna 210 that has a bundle of cable that's been abandoned that's probably that drag running the whole uh, the, the belly of the fuselage it's, it's come from tail to the, to the front it probably weighs 10 or 15 pounds worth of cable but rather than take it out they just left it in. Um, you know, the right way to do it, and the way that Spark Chasers does it, is we got to take that out because it doesn't make sense to leave that in there. It doesn't mean, make sense to leave that that uh, roll servo in the wing if we don't need it. So be careful what you're doing when you when you when you, when you talk about a ten thousand dollar Garmin autopilot. Be careful uh, with what you're getting. Know what you're know what to expect from your installer, and ask the right questions, and ask to see the old equipment that they pulled out. My guess is you're somewhere around 16 to 17,000. Just using some basic labor numbers, um, you know, not knowing the, the individual installation. But I think that's what you can probably expect in its most basic form. Okay, let's talk about the GFC 500, the full featured version, where you, got, you have the dual G5s, you have a trim, uh, pitch trim servo as well. So this is taking advantage of everything the GFC 500 has to offer you. Uh, it, to do that, like I said, you have to add a third servo. You have to um, have this, the, the G5 HSI as well. When you do that, um, and, you, and you do the math, you can do it, look at the 2018 Garmin catalog prices. When you add all that up um, and include all the miscellaneous, and you know, include a thousand dollars for miscellaneous for that trim switch, for the disconnect switch, the coil cord, the 8L clamps, all the fasteners you need, um, the cable you need, all that the stuff that is not included in, in what you get from Garmin. By the time you do that and you install it, if you use retail pricing and just some very basic average labor numbers, my guess is that's a $24,000 autopilot. But it's a very capable um, autopilot that will, people will rave about. Well, that's it. We, uh, we tried to cover all the common questions. We probably didn't answer every question that everybody has. If you have a question that's still out there that we didn't touch, feel free to leave, uh, leave that question in the comments uh, for this video, and we'll get back to you. Um, or if, you're, if you prefer Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we, uh, we'll be making some posts about this. Feel free to leave the questions there. We'll get them there. And if you, if you like the old school way of just picking up the phone and calling us, you know, 919-912-5792, we'll answer the questions for you. Until next time, see ya.